An increasing number of people, they are turning to social media to pick their next vacation spot, especially the millennials. A recent study found 60% of millennial travelers are on Instagram. That's a 375% increase from 2013. Other research shows more than 40% of people under the age of 33 prioritize their Instagram ability of a location to help them decide where to vacation next. Mark Elwood is contributing editor of Condé Nast Traveler and joins us to discuss. So we're looking at the pictures and we're looking at other people's pictures to decide where we're going? Yeah, we're not going, we're not picking a vacation destination and taking a picture once we get there. We're thinking, <laughs> can I get a great picture? If I can't, I'm not going to go. So it's, it's changed how we even take pictures these days, you think? I think it's, we used to take pictures to look happy. Now we take them to look kind of hot and sexy. A lot of the Instagrams, <laughs> you've got to look a little sexier. In the past, you just grinned. This <laughs> explains why my Instagram is so barren. Um, <laughs> New Zealand and what's Iceland are two popular destinations. I think what you, you can see the impact of Instagram on tourism there because New Zealand is one of the hottest destinations in the world, partly because its scenery is so Instagrammable. It <laughs> looks like the moon. Yeah. Uh, right. New Zealand has an area that focused on Instagram and its tourism marketing. Numbers went up 14%. But I think the most interesting part is a place in Norway where there's a rock that you can sit on and look very sort of contemplative. Uh -huh. 2009, that area got 500 visitors. 2014, it got 40. Thousand. Wow. wow. And it's, it's funny because I will admit we've booked travel based on where I've seen my friends go because that just looks so amazing. I think so you do it there. too, there right? Like, yeah, of course yeah. you do it, yes. But it's, you say that hotels are now changing uh, their uh, business model and trying to become Insta friendly too. Tell us about that. Think about that. When you walk into a hotel lobby, take a moment and look around and think what about the design here? is intended to be photographed. Mm -hmm. They're not white anymore, they're bright colors. There's a hotel in Sydney called the 1888 that has a selfie area with a little gold frame and you can go in and take a picture. Think there's the lobby of the Hotel Indigo in downtown LA has a giant chandelier that's supposed to be Instagrammed. Just stop and think and you can totally see the hotels want you to take pictures. You said that 70% of Instagram is travel? 70%? 70% is travel related. I it's, don't believe I you. Do. <laughs> I don't believe Trust you, me. Mark. Trust me, would an Englishman lie? Yes. 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 Not even English, actually, <laughs> from the Bronx. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good accent, though. No, thank, you, thank you so much. Yeah. But the, why um, 70%? Explain. Because I think, well, I think that shows you how impactful tra Instagram has been on travel, how native it is. Think about that 40% of millennials who won't go somewhere unless they can Instagram it. Wow. That's that baking Instagram into travel. Remember, I think people thought that travel agents or travel specialists, as we call them now, were sort of like phone booths and record stores. They were kind of old school, right? Gone, gone, gone. No, no, no. They're largely on Instagram now. Mm -hmm. You're using Instagram to book. Smart. You're using it as a business model. There's a great Instagrammer called Jessica Nabongo. She focuses on Africa. She has really far-flung destinations, but she's also a travel specialist. How do people find her? Instagram. And people are looking cute in their pictures. I thought vacation pictures were boring, but people are getting dolled up in their pictures. Oh, they're, they're, they're packing bigger suitcases. I think the w luggage <laughs> allowance needs to go up, so you've got more outfits. Okay. Thank you, Mark Elwood. Always good to have you here.